Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to the Soup's channel. My name is Matthew Ramosano and this channel I am to entertain, inform, and inspire using the topic of discussion as always, which is superheroes. So guys, with Avengers Endgame finally hitting theaters this week, we all know this movie is going to be amazing. But there, there's always going to be that what if. What if Avengers Endgame turns out to be absolutely garbage? Well, in today's video, I'm going to break down five reasons why you should be worried about Avengers Endgame. But before I do that, guys, make sure to stay to the end of the video for giveaway details as I'm going to be giving away this Avengers Endgame art canvas. So going back to Avengers Infinity War, that movie was freaking amazing. No one is denying that. But one of the biggest flaws of that film was that it felt really overcrowded. And it was a really long movie and with so many different plots, you know, going their separate ways and us as fans and us as the audience having to keep up with around like six different plots, it it was a lot. And that movie felt really overcrowded, really overpopulated. And going into Endgame, with this being a three hour movie and having more characters to deal with, cause you're throwing in Captain Marvel in there, then that's just gonna add more to th th that movie possibly being more overcrowded. Now granted, half of the heroes have disappeared but who's who can say that they don't come back within you know the second act of the movie middle of the movie then the rest of the movie you're gonna have over 50 60 70 characters just all on screen together and that's gonna feel really really overcrowded so this is one of the things that could ruin endgame that this movie being such a long movie and then having to deal with so many people so many different plots all at once it could feel extremely overcrowded. And this is one of the things that could possibly ruin Endgame. Next, with Avengers Endgame having a three hour long runtime. That is an insane amount of time. And to be honest, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to hold my bladder for three hours because I already see myself eating a bucket of popcorn and drinking soda, but whatever. So with Avengers Endgame being three hours long, guys, this movie cannot drag at all because as soon as it drags it's gonna take it's gonna take you out as an audience member this being a three-hour movie our human attention spans are so insanely small and then for this movie which i doubt is gonna be you know not the roller coaster ride that we're all expecting but this movie cannot drag at all because if at any moment this movie starts to drag and it starts to get boring similar to captain marvel then it's gonna take you out as an audience member and you're probably gonna be like well now's my time to go to the bathroom and it's just gonna take you out as an audience member so going into Avengers Endgame this movie cannot drag at all now with Avengers Endgame being the film where a ton of these characters that we've been with since day one finally depart from the MCU this movie cannot have early deaths guys if there's ever gonna be a major death which there probably will be and we've all been speculating Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, these deaths have to come at the end. You cannot lose a character like Captain America or Thor or Iron Man in the middle of the movie. We've been with these characters for over 10 years and for them to die early on in the movie where this is concluding everything and for them not to be a part of that conclusion because they die in the, early on in the film. That would just be the worst thing to come out of Endgame. Uh, if I see Captain America die before the Avengers, you know, before their final assault on Thanos, then I'm literally gonna walk out of the theater. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. But I think that's definitely the worst thing that could possibly happen in Endgame. Just fathoming it, literally, like, it raises my heart rate. So let's get into the next point. So the next point is that Avengers and that could possibly ruin Avengers Endgame is that this movie has to have a satisfying ending guys this is this movie is the ending of a 22 arc universe a 22 arc MCU all of it this is the end of it all but it's also the beginning of the new phases with new characters but this is the end of the OG Avengers era and for this movie to not have a satisfying ending where us as fans, we leave the theaters and we're like, damn, like 
this ended the right way. Like how we did when Logan came out. Logan came out and no spoilers, but we walked out of that movie saying, God damn, like that was the best character departure like I've ever seen in my life. And I wanna, I wanna feel that, I wanna come out of the theater saying that when I watch Avengers Endgame. So this film definitely has to have a satisfying ending where we see the OGs depart and then we see the new, the new characters that are gonna take the lead on the MCU. We see them come a bit forward in line. But if we come out of this movie feeling bittersweet, like everything has been so good up to this point and now this movie just, it didn't end off, it didn't give us the ending that we wanted, then that's just gonna be the worst feeling as you know, you're ending this whole era of movies, you're ending it off on a wrong note. And that's, that's just the worst thing that, that, one of the worst things that could possibly happen coming out of Avengers Endgame. And the final point as to something that can ruin Avengers Endgame, this is wiping the deck completely. We do know that in this movie, the OGs are gonna depart. Iron Man, Thor, Cap, Black Widow, Hulk, and Hawkeye, probably. But we do know they're gonna depart, but they cannot kill all of them. There has to be at least some of them that survive. And like, I don't know, maybe Iron Man survives and he retires with Pepper, starts his own family, or Thor becomes the all, fa the all father and starts new Asgard. All I know is that not all of them can die. They cannot completely wipe the deck of characters that have they have been building since the beginning of all of this. Because then going forward, we haven't grown close to characters like Doctor Strange, Black Panther, Spider-Man, Captain Marvel. They're gonna be t the ones taking the lead on the MCU, but we haven't grown to love them like all these other characters. And our love for these other characters will never be as deep as our love for these characters, which is why they cannot completely wipe the deck of the OGs just straight out of the MCU, despite them having their departure in this movie. Because then going forward, we're not gonna have that same connection to the heroes that we're seeing on screen that we have to the heroes that we're seeing in Avengers Endgame. And I just think as an audience member who has grown to love these characters since Iron Man came out in 2008, I think it's just gonna be way too much as an audience member to take on seeing all of these characters die before my eyes. It, it, it'll just be too much. Like if they all die, I think I'm gonna die with them because I don't think I, I don't think I could take that much just all in this one movie. So guys, let me know in the comment section down below, what is what do you think is one thing that can possibly ruin Avengers Endgame? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now getting into giveaway details, guys, I'm giving away this Avengers Endgame art canvas. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is like this video, comment down below, and subscribe for an entry to winning this Avengers Endgame art canvas. So there you guys have it, there is five things that could possibly ruin Avengers Endgame. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you guys next time.